It's probably the worst combination of weather right now. It's hot, sweaty, and windy. Like, bruh, bruh. You may notice a little crease in the middle of my eyes here where my nose is. Bruh, I, I get the worst hay fever in the world. Last night, I rubbed my eyes so hard that I managed to somehow like squeeze in between my nose and it ended up having like a crease here. I don't know, I don't know if, you could, if you can see that, but oh, I hate this weather, man. <laughs> Guys, today is a special day. It's always a special day when we're working on the almighty AU freaking Falcon. We got some mods, I gotta go get them. I'm sure the title and the thumbnail already explain what we're doing. But this weather isn't the best, it's windy, but it doesn't matter when you got an AU Falcon. A couple weeks ago, I ordered some parts for my AU Falcon. We got some parts from AU House and Mexican Hoon Cartel. <laughs> we are building the AU Falcon to be a purpose-built drift car, nothing other than that, because I want to learn how to drift. What's really going to help me is some camber, some camberinos from Mexican Hoon Cartel. <laughs> Look at that, they've even got their logo just stuck onto each camber arm. That's hilarious. Look at that. <laughs> These will give us some premium El Camberinos. In this box, we have some stuff from AU House. Oh, hot. Oh, I didn't know that I ordered these. Did I order? Oh, sick. <laughs> what we have here is our lock kit for the AU Falcon. This will give us way more angle, allow us to drift much easier, and it's just going to make it so much better to drive overall, honestly. I know that these give you a significant amount of lock. Combined with the cab arms, the wheels are going to sit pretty funny. I'm excited to install these to see what the AU Falcon uh, feels like after I've got these on. Let's see what it takes to install this. I don't think it's too bad, but, you know, everything always goes wrong. So we'll be probably installing just these two arms and cab arms today. We, we we're not going to install the spaces, but I'll just keep them on the side just in case I need them down the line. But here's a good look at what AU House provides here. You can see this uh, has been cut right here where the steering rack connects to. And usually the steering rack, I believe, connects to about here. Essentially, the further you go down and connect the steering rack to, the more angle you get. So less movement will cause this to move much more than if it was stuck out here, if, if that makes sense. <laughs> Horrible at explaining stuff, I know. Yeah, it's all gonna make sense when we start putting it all in the car. Dude, why does it look so good? <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started in today's video, go check out bankyspec.com to help support the channel. You can buy some AU Falcon merch on there. We're running out of AU Falcon keychains. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. Also, before we continue, I want to give a, another update on the chaser like I always do. Uh, we need to do some wiring for the ECU. We also need to wire in the O2 sensor for the wideband that the link provides. You can see I've just installed the cam lambda sensor right there. But after that, we should be able to get the first start on this thing. We need to get the new turbo lines as well. We're very close to getting this thing on the road. If you guys are here for the AU Falcon content, Thank you so much, but I'm also doing a 300 plus kilowatt build on a JZX100 chaser and it's, it's slowly getting there. Stick around if you want to see this thing on the dyno and start for the first time. I'm, I'm very excited. I hope it fires up immediately and there's not really any issues. Otherwise, it's going to suck. <laughs> start pulling the car apart I'm gonna quickly show you how much the wheel turns from factory it's currently got no lock kit or suspension mods I mean it does have coilovers but that's it that's not gonna affect the lock so it'll be good to compare this to after there we go that's that's max lock right there so if we're facing straight on the wheel here you go guys this is max angle right here turning the wheel to the right and here we are, this is max angle turning left. Not really too hectic. Let's get the car in the air and see what we can do. AU Falcon is now in the air. Let's have a look at where these camber arms are gonna go. I'll go grab one. These camber arms are gonna chill just around there. You can see where this factory one is. Essentially, it's just got a different bolt uh, drill so we can get some more angle. Looks pretty easy to remove everything. We just need to remove the caliper. Um, we're also replacing these arms too, of course, so we're gonna have to take all of this stuff off. I'm gonna completely remove everything I need to on this side, then show you exactly what you need to do if you wanna get this angle kit as well as these camber arms. So I've been spending like the past 30 minutes or so just removing everything. I've been taking my time because because the sun was literally just directly on me just before. So anyway, we've nearly installed everything. We've got the camber plates in. You can see they're all installed with the shims as well, which you can buy at Mexican Hoon Cartel. All right, there's no one here. 
And here we have the uh, AU House lock kit, the buckwheeled kit or whatever you want to call it. What I've gone and done is ordered some new wheel bearings so we can just slip those on instead of mucking around with the old arms and trying to remove that. That's the, uh, the right side done. Now I'm going to start removing stuff on the left side. So relatively simple. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. First thing we're going to do, turn the wheel all the way to the left so we can get more clearance and we can remove that brake caliper. Now we have access to these back bolts on the caliper. One at the bottom, one at the top, both 15 millimeter. Get a big breaker bar if you've never done this before because they are on there tight. Power tools also make this job a whole lot easier. Next, grab yourself some zip ties, three to be exact. Daisy chain them up, pull your caliper off and then hang it over here. And now remove the rotor, set that aside. I just heard thunder, so we're gonna have to make this quick. <laughs> Now with an 18 millimeter socket, you want to remove this nut over here. Remove this first. Down here where the tie rod connects, the next thing you want to do is remove that bolt. Let's get the gun on there. And hammer that bolt out. There we go. Make sure you leave the nut on there, sorry, when you're hammering it down. Now right behind the hub, there is an eight millimeter bolt. That's for your ABS sensor. Start removing it. This sensor is a little bit of a pain to remove, so you just gotta like smack it out somehow. Don't break it. And then the last bolt is here, which is a 22, I believe. I could be wrong. Nope, it's a 21. Nice. Bruh, what is this? It's a weird looking beetle. Let's poke it. Eh? Eh? Whoa, this thing's got grip, man. Whoa! We're gonna take a little bit of a break working on the Falcon. We're gonna go pick up those new wheel bearings. And I'm also going to pick up some new wheels for the AU. So I've decided what I wanna get. Um, I'm gonna pick them up today. I'm keen, I'm keen, but I'm not gonna show you. Not not yet, anyway. Bro, there's actually too many tires and wheels in here. And I'm gonna get more. Far out, can't even go out that side. Let's go pick up our new wheels and our bearings. Go for a ride in my JZX90 Mark II. Two hours later. Got ourselves some new wheel bearings. Very nice wheel hub bearing, whatever you want to call it. Well, this is just a sad sight. Have a look at that. AU Falcon on jack stands. Big sad. We are back home. Sheesh. God damn. Look at that, baby. All right, we are back. I'm probably gonna just complete this side for today. Won't put the wheels on until we're done. I'm very excited to show you what I got. So we're gonna chuck the new arms on, we're gonna chuck the bearings on, and we should be sweet. Let's go. <laughs> you guys need to, you need to hear this. Anyway, I just quick quick little update. Uh, we're just working on the Falcon. Welcome's come around because we're gonna get some dinner. Finally no, no, decided no, no. to build the SR DIY style. No, no, no. Say say it. Say how you said to me. No, come. I just finally decided that we're we're going to attempt to build the SR instead of sending it to a shop. You think we're capable though? There are a few tricky bits that I think we're gonna struggle with, or rather, I'm gonna struggle with, like um, the bearing clearances. I don't fully understand that piston sizes because I got oversized pistons. That's gonna be another sort of contentious topic once again we're going to struggle with but she'll be right we're going to be engine builders <laughs> you really think we're capable you really think you, you reckon no, I, I hope we're capable i mean we, we pretty much built the 1mz like no yes we did the only thing that was wrong with it was all we did with the 1mz was pull a piston out you little had a little play around with the pistons and <laughs> fucked me, and then put it back Yeah, in. but we'll put an engine together and it ran, and we know why it didn't run for long. Yeah, 100%, yeah. but building an engine's a lot different. It is, but we've, we've literally done everything now. Like, oh. we've done engine swaps, gearbox swaps, clutches. I, I don't know what else there is left to do. Like, well, we have our own turbo, turbo Yoda. You, you mean, you mean PJ? <laughs> oh, so we've got turbo Yoda, and then turbo Tristan. So we've got two turbo people. Two turbo there. boys. They can assist us if we do anything. I need you to give me uh, Tristan's saying. I want you to say... I don't know his saying. I want, I want you to say his saying in the spiciest tone. Spool up. Spool up? Mm, come on. Come on, give me like a... Spool up. Come on. <laughs> come on. A spool up. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're going to probably need some help for that. But yes, just to clarify, Lachlan told me 
that we are gonna to attempt to build his S15 SR20 DET. And I'm keen, I've been egging him on for like forever now because I want you to do it. I think we're easily, we, we can easily do it. Not easy, we're probably gonna mess no, on it, no. It's a, it's a big mountain we're attempting to climb here, that's for sure. So as you saw in the time lapse before, we got everything all sorted. I don't know if I already told you on the, I don't know where we're at right now currently. The timeline in my head's a little bit messed up because I've just been, you know, working on this car, running errands and all that. But everything is all sorted down here. Brakes, ca calipers are on. We've got the new uh, wheel bearings on, the new hub on. The, the arm is on. We've got the camber arms installed, ready to go. And on the other side, I've actually been working on that too. We've got the camber arms lightly installed. The bolts haven't been entirely tightened down yet, but you can see two Mexican Hoon Cartel camber arms in there. Uh, that should give us around negative four to five degrees camber because I did opt for the shims. So you don't have to get the shims. That'll give you uh, negative six degrees camber. And I think that's a bit much. I mean, I know that the more camber, the better when it comes to drifting, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, Nick told me with shims, he got negative five degrees, which is plenty. So yeah, we're gonna resume this in a bit. It's, it's much nicer outside now. Sky is blue. There is a nice breeze and it's not now hot and windy. It's mildly warm, lukewarm and windy, which is a lot better than hot and windy. Lachlan's now gonna look at my new wheels, which are not revealed to another video, but I guarantee it's gonna be a good reaction. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> TE36s, baby. Brother. It's not genuine, it's <laughs> genuine. Betty's Burgers, do you approve? Yeah, pretty good onion rings. Not too bad. I'll give Betty's Burgers a... It'd be, a, it'd be a 9 out of 10, but the music's too loud, so we're gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Ooh! Pretty fat. Dude, they're gonna think that I just eat burgers. <laughs> Very good. That gear? Rating time. Not too bad. Good flavours. Marinates well in the, in the palate. Oh! Alright. One more bite. Go. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's daily vlog. Welcome, welcome to Vlogmas if you haven't seen a daily vlog since the start of this. I'm looking down here because the current time is 12.14. We've been grinding away and I've got to work on the AU Falcon nice and early in the morning. I got some really good feedback from that other video that I posted about thanking you guys for pretty much believing in me. And just wanted to just say again, like, I appreciate each and every one of you. I am I am honestly loving Vlogmas and I can't wait to see where we go from here. I've, I've got some massive plans and just need, to, just need to make things happen. We'll see. We'll Got to wait. 50k special. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to the 41,000 people that have clicked subscribe watching. I will see you all in the next one. I'm going to get to bed. Peace out. Adios. You guys are awesome. See you later. We're now, we're going to take a little bit of a break working on the Falcon. We're going to go pick up those new wheel bearings. And I'm also going to pick up some new wheels for the AU. So I've decided what I want to get. Um, I'm going to pick them up today. I'm keen. I'm keen, but I'm not going to show you. Not, not yet, anyway. Bro, there's actually too many tires and wheels in here. And I'm going to get more. Far out. Can't even go out that side.